Hi everyone! Welcome back to IntegralCalc.com. Today we're going to be doing another example of how to convert rectangular equations to polar equations. The rectangular equation we're given is y equals x squared. And by rectangular equation, we just mean an equation in terms of x and y. We're going to be converting this to a polar equation in terms of r and theta. And the two formulas that we're going to use to do it are x equals r cosine of theta and y equals r sine of theta. What we'll do is plug in r cosine of theta for x, so here in our original function, and we'll plug in r sine of theta for y here into our original function. So when we make those two substitutions, we're left with r sine of theta equals the quantity r cosine of theta squared. And what we want to do is simplify this equation and end up solving it for r. So we'll solve um, the equation for r in terms of theta, just how um, a rectangular equation would normally be solved for, solved for y in terms of x, just like we have here in our original function. y equals some function in terms of x. We'll have r equals some function in terms of theta. So in order to simplify, we'll first distribute this squared exponent here. So we'll end up with r squared times cosine squared of theta. Then we'll go ahead and divide both sides by r so that the r on the left-hand side cancels and this r squared here on the right-hand side just becomes r. Now we'll go ahead and divide both sides by cosine squared of theta um, because remember we're trying to solve for r. So we want to get r by itself which leaves us with sine of theta over cosine squared of theta. Now to simplify this we can change this cosine squared of theta into cosine of theta times cosine of theta which is the same thing we just broke it apart and now we will separate um, these cosine thetas here in the denominator into two separate fractions. So we're left with sine of theta over the first cosine of theta here, and then we multiply that by um, what's left in the numerator, which is just one, and the second cosine of theta. So we've separated them like that, and the reason we did that is because this sine of theta over cosine of theta is equal to tangent of theta, sine over cosine is tangent, and one over cosine of theta is the same thing as secant. So our final answer will be r equals tangent of theta coming from this fraction times secant of theta, which comes from this fraction. So that's our final answer for the polar equation. It's um, solved for r in terms of theta, and this polar equation here is equal to this rectangular equation y equals x squared. So I hope that helped you guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!